All right, so what are we going to learn in this video? Services in Angular. So we're going to have a service which two components are going to share. And when I change some data into one component using the service, it should reflect into the second component. We're going to use RxJS and behavior subjects to do that. And by the way, uh, this is a much larger series on Angular. So if you're if you want to follow from the beginning, I'll provide a link to the playlist here. And welcome to Taxi Tutorials. All right, so I already created a project, uh, a template project called update dash data dash service. And once it's finished, I'll upload it to my GitHub so that you know you can download it and I'll provide a link uh, to it in my in the description of the video. So what I have here, I have created two components, one and two, and in the service, I have created a user service. Now, if I go to app module, um, I already have imported the component one and two here and declared here, but I yet to import the service. So what I'll do is I would say import, uh, this is a user service. So if I go to users, uh, this is the name of the service. So I'll say user service from and slash services slash users dot uh, service. I think the path is correct. Let's see. All right, since it's a service, we need to add into provider. So I'm going to add it this to provider and that should be enough to inject this into a, a project. All right. Okay, so here what I need to do, I need to import this uh, behavior subject. So this would actually help us uh, update back and forth from the rx.js extension slash behavior subject. All right, now I'm going to create um, a user that we are going to share. So I'm going to say private user equal to new It's basically this behavior subject and its type uh, string. And I can give it a default value. I can say John is the user. Okay. Now I need to broadcast this message as an observable. So I can say cast equal to this dot user. And this will be as observable. So I can monitor from anywhere. So I can observe this, observe the changes uh, to this message from anywhere. And let's say if I want to edit this user, I can have new user that will set this so that I can say this dot user dot next new user. Uh, this is basically a method in rx.js if you don't know much about it. What it will do is it basically replaces the value of user. Now the object, the component one, which right now is nothing but some default text, and two also has some default text and in the app component.html I have added both components so if I now execute it if I say ng serve dash dash open to dash dash port 5000 it will open on the port 5000 so right now it's just showing me the default text for those components. Now we're gonna make we're gonna need to make some changes there. So we're gonna go into first component one. So here we need to import that service that we just defined. So I can say import uh, user service and this should be two level up. So services slash users dot service now it's actually users service and in the constructor 
we need to inject the service. So I would say private users service as users service. So now I can use inside my nginit anytime I want. Now over there we broadcast the message, right? So here I need to subscribe it so that anytime there's a change in the user, it would basically sync it. So here I would say this dot uh, users service dot. Remember we had a, if I go back to the user service, I have this cast. So I'm going to say user service cast dot. I need to subscribe it subscribe and whatever the user comes in I can say this dot user equal to user now we don't have a user here yet so I'm gonna to have to define it user type string so what it will do is um, because it subscribes any chain to user it will catch it and it would save it to this user. So now if I go back to the component one here and instead of one works, I can say user and this should reflect. All right, so it says one as John here. I can do the same thing in a second component quickly. So I will copy this and I will also copy all of this two second so now, now I still need to put it into HTML here so I will do this and instead of one I would say two all right so they both are getting the same user now let's change this user from component one and make it reflect into component two. So for that, I would need to have some sort of input field in component one. So I would just say input type text. And here what I'll do is do two way binding here. And G model equal to, and I'll create a variable here call edit user and I can have a button called change and this button will have some action so when I click on it it would change the user equal to and it would run some method called um, edit edit the user or something like that now inside the component one I need to when you when a user clicks on it I need to now define that method here this method so I would do it here and so what happens when a user clicks on it what I want to do is this dot user service dot uh, this has a message remember if I go back to the user service here and I have a method called edit user. So I can call this from my component one. So I can say uh, edit user. And here I would pass this dot edit user. Now this edit user is nothing but the, the new user. Uh, the name is a little confusing because if I look at the component one here, so the um, the new user it's edit user so and then this dot user service edit user is the method that um, that is inside the service so here I would say edit user and it's type string uh, this should be users service now one thing I still need to do because I'm using the the ng model here I need to use the form inside the app module so what I do I would say 
import forms module from at angular slash forms and I also need to import it here in the decorator if you don't know what decorators are I have a tutorial on it I'll provide a link here all right so now let's go back here all right so I have a change here so if I do let's say instead of John I would say Peter and change and it's changing in both Jill and it changing in both so this is how you communicate from one component change to another component via service and using rx.js's behavior subject again i'm going to put this code onto my github and provide a link in the description so you can play around with it if you have any questions uh, don't hesitate to ask me and i hope you learned something from this tutorial and if you did please uh, take a few seconds of your life and like the video and provide a nice comment thank you